Hi, my name is Sasha and I work as a sales engineer. Would you like to understand why sales engineers are among top paid IT professionals in the world while still having tons of fun at their job? In this video, you'll learn the skills and traits you need to have in order to work as a sales engineer. You're watching the Better Pre-Sales channel where I'm sharing my own personal growth journey from a software developer to a sales engineer Subscribe if you don't want to miss content like Top 6 Sales Engineering Skills for 2022. Selling enterprise software has changed a lot in the last couple of decades. Most enterprises have, since the 80s, been through multiple technology cycles, likely replacing their core systems more than once. So by now, they are more than capable of assessing software offerings by different vendors. This resulted in now having more stakeholders at the table making buying decisions, and these stakeholders are increasingly technical. So a single salesperson is not able to conduct the whole sales process and close the deal anymore. This might still work in some retail type of sales, for instance, if you are a consumer buying a car, you might be dealing still with just one single salesperson, but this doesn't work in enterprise sales of software or hardware anymore. The products, but also the sales process and the companies have gotten way too complex for that. Sales engineers to the rescue. So what is a sales engineer or an SE? It's a person working alongside a salesperson to understand customers' business challenges and deliver a solution proposal based on their deep technical understanding of the products or the product. So in contrast to the salesperson, a sales engineer is a very hands-on technical role. And here's a list of things that we usually do in our daily jobs. Understanding customers' business challenges and mapping them to products or product features that will help customers overcome those challenges. Conducting technical presentations and demos in the context of customers' challenges, highlighting how they are addressed by the product. Leading and winning solution assessment activities for the customer, such as proof of concepts or prototypes. Building technical champions on the customer side meaning persons who will be selling your product further within the customer's organization just because you've managed to get them excited and to recognize the tremendous value of your product. To understand and define the sizing, the quantitative need for uh, our software, which ultimately defines the size of the deal itself. This is where we apply both knowledge about the customer and our products and are able to say, okay, these are the features and these are the licenses that the customer will need guiding and advising our customers how to best use our products in order to increase their revenue and lower their costs. Regularly keep in touch with customers in order to update them on new product features and identify new potential use cases. This is very important. You want to continue selling to this customer. Happy customer wants to use more of your products, usually. Supporting the marketing department in their activities by participating in meetups, webinars, creating content such as blog posts and videos. Another super important one, you're interfacing with other functions here, not just the sales. It's a fun thing to do. You talk to other people who are maybe in marketing who are not that technical, and you're helping them position the product on the broader market. And this is a lot of fun to do. Providing regular feedback to the product engineering and following up on new features. Another important one, we are the face of the company in front of our customers. And product engineering, people developing the product are super interested to learn how the product is being used and what is in general customer's feedback. And we are the ones providing that feedback and driving the further development of the product. Also, we have to keep training and retraining ourselves in order to stay well informed and best equipped for the job. Another fun part of the job, you keep learning new things especially if paired with a less technical or less experienced salesperson, we are guiding them and helping them steer the ship, meaning their accounts, and building a winning team together. Wow, that, that's a huge list of things you have to be able to do. 
and I probably forgot to mention some of the aspects. Please let me know in the comments. So how do you become a sales engineer? You have to start somewhere and if you look at those skills, you probably have some of those skills. For me personally, I come from a software development background and my first job was squashing bugs in the product and this was my first exposure to customer feedback. It wasn't great because it was mostly bugs. Later on, I was in software development and I was getting increasingly frustrated because I wasn't getting feedback and I was building these great software products but I had no idea how are they being used and what do customers think about it. So this is what moved me to go to a more customer facing role. My problem is I'm a little bit introvert and boring. So I really had to work on my soft skills. For instance, if you're a salesperson, obviously your strong side are the soft skills. And then you can work to gradually improve your technical skills and well, and then switch to sales engineering. I want to tackle the naming confusion. There are so many different names for this role. Sales engineer, solutions engineer, solutions architect, technical pre-sales, customer engineer, technical account manager. Why is this? The role is really an intersection between sales and engineering. So sales engineer is really the most precise name, but companies have been steering away from this title just because they want to emphasize the fact that you are a trusted advisor to the customer. This implies that working in this role, you have your customer's best interest as top priority. Of course, we are under pressure to sell our products, but the customers recognize that we still bring a lot of value to the table. And believe me, this is the aspect I love the most. Interactions with the customer and this gratification and satisfaction you get from customers using your product and bragging about how much they have uh, improved or bettered their business. Thanks for watching this video. I'd really appreciate some feedback, whether it's a like or a dislike and or a comment to let me know what you'd like me to talk about next. Stay healthy and stay tuned.